guys are having a killer day today. I haven't made a video in a while. Been very busy with hedge line trading, making those stock updates. Uh, been also very busy trading as well. So I think things have been going very well. Uh, and talking about trading, we just closed a big wad of positions here uh, for the premium members. So again, a few members joined the other day, seem to be already quite happy with the service. And again, this is what I provide, guys. I let you know when I open my, and I close my positions, I post my analysis as well. And again, we just closed one, two, three, four, five big winning trades here. Over 50% of the portfolio was actually long all these names. So we got a very big increase in our return. So I'm very happy uh, for all the members that are benefiting from these trades. You guys are you guys are killing it. And uh, you know, thank you so much for your support. That for everyone that joins, you guys uh, continue to help boost the Discord. And uh, you know, you continue to 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 you know push me to make uh, more content and post good trades for you guys. So uh, let's take a look here at where we are, where we're at. Uh, so Bitcoin obviously reacted beautifully to our level here at fifty five thousand. It got a bounce off. Now it's off to the races. Uh, we broke the four hour cycle, so now we're, we're going to get a correction most likely. Uh, so this first wave should be finished here. And what a wave it's been, you know, it's a 20% rally off the lows. So it's been quite good. Uh, now, if we're going to pull back, it's, in my opinion, I think it's going to be a nasty one. Uh, I think could, just based off the impulsiveness, I think we need to shake out a few, a few hands, a few people who are late to the party following in. Um, so right now, uh, I can already make out the bearish divergence. So you can see this is a fifth wave coming to an end. And uh, when we take a look at wave edge, you could already see uh, lots of selling uh, already occurred on the way up. And the four hour time frame, big selling also came in. Uh, so maybe on this wave two, if we get this wave two pullback, something like this. Uh, we will most likely, hopefully, not most likely, but hopefully we get these uh, green smart money buying candles to confirm that this is going to be a low that's going to hold. Now, I don't know where the, the, the correction is going to end, so I'm just going to sit on the sidelines until I get confirmation that a low is in. And again, it's not even to say that we are going to get this correction. What if it's also a possibility that this, for some reason, just starts mooning like crazy and we erase divergence at 82 and this this wave three extends even higher which means the wave one is going to extend up even more so i don't want to i don't want people to, to panic or anything if we do get a pullback it should be it should be a dip to buy but you know i'll let members know what i'm going to do with my my positions here so that's basically it on terms of wave edge uh let's take a look to see yeah you I mean you can see on the 24 minute time frame uh, you could you gotta when we got this pullback in wave four, this was another dip to buy from smart money showing you buying right at the lows, uh, what they usually do, and then on the way up they start to take profits partially, right? So they left they love to buy the dips, these guys. They just love to buy the lows on the on the way up. And then you know, on the way down, they, they sell the tops. <laughs> it just it just goes down. So that's basically it. Uh, let's see what we what else we got going on here. Uh, so market cipher. Looking quite good on the daily time frame. Looking great. You got uh, big big move up. Green dot confirmation. You still got red money flow though. That's not great. Uh, weekly time frame shaping up. You got a big move up uh, this week. So maybe next week we're gonna get a green dot confirmation. But we we really need to be patient with it and not uh, get too ahead of ourselves. Right. We want to wait for those signals to confirm and not try to front run them too much. Sometimes it can turn out to be pretty bad. A uh, 12 hour looks really bullish, but the, you know, the smaller time frames don't look that great right now. You know, they got the one hour thin green money flow, although it can continue higher. I'm expecting a pullback in this fifth wave, right? I'm saying this is a fifth wave. It's finished. I could be wrong, but if we do get a pullback here, uh, let's see here. We got an ABC. You're going to get the ABC correction, right? And I'm, I'm expecting like something like this, right? Something pretty, pretty, pretty dramatic, pretty severe. Uh, and, you know, you'll get a bounce off somewhere somewhere along here uh, but then uh, maybe come down to the 58 59 maybe shake out some weak hands right retest these highs retest this previous pivot as support because we broke it right we kind of broke it and we never really retested it as as a support because we're in this range right we're in this range right here 
and we broke it. Oh, I guess we just tested it daily right there, I guess, but uh, maybe a significant test would be good. But uh, it's not It's not to say that uh, I, I recommend shorting here. I am in a small short position, but you know, uh, if I get stopped out, it's very minimal losses for me. So it's all about risk management, guys. Do 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 what uh, if you want to short, go ahead. If you don't, then uh, you know sit on the sidelines and wait for a dip to buy. Even trail some stops if you're still in, still in the long. All right, so that uh, basically wraps it up. It's pretty straightforward. You know this the mark stock market's been taking a pretty big beating this week as well. So we'll see if uh, if this affects Bitcoin on the weekend and maybe at the market open on Monday. But uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, you know, leave a like and subscribe and uh, feel free to join the Discord, guys.